tonight. Hermine is expected to now make landfall as a hurricane. I'm your forecaster Danielle Prince right around the Big Bend region. These counties shaded in red. They're under a hurricane warning that includes Tallahassee further inland. We have counties under tropical storm warnings and tropical storm watches. So here's the projected forecast path right around Thursday night, later in the night, it's expected to make landfall right around the Big Bend region and then continue up the East Coast into the Mid-Atlantic states right around Saturday. But as for here um, in Gainesville and Ocala, we're expecting a few risks. So moderate risk, we have isolated tornadoes. They can quickly spin up. They're very hard to predict, so it's a good idea to go, go ahead and download the Florida Storms weather app. Flooding is also possible. We're expecting anywhere between five and seven inches of rain and then minor wind damage. That's at a low risk, but definitely still could be an issue. We are looking at sustained maximum winds between 20 and 30 miles per hour, and those gusts could even be above 30 miles per hour, more like 50 miles per hour. So here's the tornado risk map. Thursday, 3 p.m., most of north central Florida has that low risk. But as that storm makes landfall, here's Friday, 12 a.m., late Thursday night, that risk increases to moderate. And then as we head into Friday, most of Alachua County is going to be under that moderate risk as the storm exits and makes its way out of Florida. Here's a potential rain map. The total accumulation for Gainesville and Ocala, we're looking at anywhere between five and seven inches of rain, but areas to our west right around the Big Bend region, more like eight to 10 inches of rain. So here's Thursday, right around 2 p.m. We start to see a few showers, but really right around 6 p.m. That's when we start to see um, these really tiny, discrete cells pop up. This is when we start to see the moderate risk for those isolated tornadoes and then really early Friday morning. That's when we see the bulk of the rain wide coverage all over north central Florida and then later Friday night. We still have that outer band uh, very last few bands sweeping through north central Florida. As for the winds over 40 miles per hour. Here's the probability Gainesville. We're looking at that medium risk to seeing those wind gusts over 40 miles per hour, but areas to our west, of course, where that storm makes landfall, they're looking at a high risk for um, those stronger winds above 40 miles per hour. But as for the rest of the week, today we have that 90% chance of rain, so definitely uh, you're going to be seeing a good amount of rain today. Tomorrow, though, uh, that 50% chance of rain on Friday as we have the last few bands sweeping through. This weekend we start to dry out, but we still have that 40% chance of rain for game day. But come kickoff, we should be cleared out. And then Sunday's looking beautiful, and then rain chances are slightly elevated for the start to your week.